The Specker team had the amazing opportunity of directly meeting the people who helped make our supply chain possible. We visited the hemp farm and extraction facility where Specker's high quality CBD originates and discussed the process of growing and extracting hemp with the experts who do it every day. The hemp plant is a rising sustainable solution to many of the problems we currently face. Since hemp was federally legalized in America only a few years ago, we've witnessed a new boom in the industry with increased consumer demand. Hemp is versatile, disruptive, healthy, and environmentally friendly. The video you're about to watch documents our unique and educational experience and aims to provide insight into a largely misunderstood industry. Enjoy. What's up, y'all? My name is Amir Zendanam, and today we are with Taylor Jones, Zach Jones, Colby Terrell, and we are about to show you an entire supply chain of hemp from the beginning all the way to the end. And right now we are at this beautiful farm out here in Kentucky. These two awesome brothers right here are going to show us the process of growing the hemp and then we have Colby right over here from Zelios, and Zelios is the extraction facility that extracts the cannabinoids like the CBD and CBG. And me over here, well, you know what I do, Specker, we're the finished product. So right here, we have the entire supply chain, and we are gonna show you ultimate transparency today. Over the course of winter, all this area over here is used for mothers. Unfortunately, as of about 10 days ago, cloning season came to an end, kind of moving into the end of planting season. Around August, we'll cut some clones off of this year's crop to start the next year's crop. Starting around the 1st of April, we'll start cloning. We're cutting a branch off of an existing mother, great big plant and vegetative growth and everybody wants something different. That kind of gives us the ability to offer a broad profile of whatever's best for our clone customers. Awesome. We've got Bayox, Wife, Stout, Cherry Citrus, Trump or T1, CBG Gold, and what's number seven? Uh, purple Cherry. Here as of late, we've seen a lot more interest in smokable flour which is kind of that you know the trump or t1 the purple cherry those things are kind of geared more that direction the bayox is a good dual purpose and then a lot of the others are really good for extraction purposes okay. this is the automated watering system we'll they need water anyways we'll run this real quick the reason we use the automated water is these things have to be watered you'll see two colored nozzles on there freshly after cutting they need a mist it's like babysitting a child. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, you can't put too much pressure on them, right? You, you gotta watch them every hour of the day, seven days a week. These have gotten a little older now. This is what you're going after. With a, you know, with a seeded plant, you're growing a plant. When you take a cutting for a clone, you're growing roots. Those you know, nice roots, yeah. yeah that's nice, nice color. That's what we're all, all about there. And uh, this is wife right there, probably in our opinion, our best biomass for extraction purposes. A lot of what you're getting to be extracted into your final product happens to be wife. Okay. So that's kind of a neat coincidence. Awesome, awesome. If they're freshly cut, you may water them with the mist every 45 minutes. A quick watering, if you know, once they get roots, three, four times a day, slow watering. So this right here, this was just excess mother stock. So. You never know when you might get a really big clone order and need more. You'll see the lights here. Uh, okay. We actually plant these in April before the day's long enough. Turn lights on. These were just mothers to be cloned. We'll, uh, we'll actually cut these down and we're going to plant this field in CBG flower. We do have something interesting over here though that we'll show you. The soil health really needs crop rotation. 
crops from different families. Hemp, all cannabis is great because it kind of cleanses the soil. Yes, yes. Um, you know, we'll come back with tomatoes and I can't tell you right now where everything's going to be next year, but yeah, most yeah. likely it'll be more like hemp there, tomatoes here. So you, you, do, you do rotational farming yeah, as well absolutely. too. absolutely. Awesome. Yeah, really, really helps with the soil health and it just makes it easier to grow the crop.